Welcome. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful alignment of energies. This is the month of January. It is the month of strength. Strength. And we have the energy of endings is coming up. So a lot of you were going through um, issues, problems, trying to find inner strengths to deal with problems, situations that was happening and transpiring. And what is transpiring is that finding strength um, to deal with issues, problems, situation is coming to an end. Okay, so an end um, is coming to you going within, trying to um, find inner strength to deal with issues and problem. This is now coming to an end. So I see a lot of you were tossed out um, to find ways and mean, um, to resolve problems. And, uh, this is going to be coming to an end, um, because, uh, um, you are going to be finding out uh, the right thing to do and the right decision to make. Okay. I love this month of January, um, for you. Um, happy new year. This is January, um, 2021. These readings are timeless. So, a lot of people don't go back and listen to the reading and what is coming out in the months, but um, readings, these readings are timeless. All the readings I do, they're timeless because each and every person work on different frequency. And this is what you need to know and understand. Okay. So what is happening and transpiring? Um, these reading comes out and uh, they can help you whenever you are looking for an answer and they come up in your feed. There is some sort of information in these messages that is going to help you. So whether it is uh, um, a weekly message, a monthly message, whatever the message is, uh, these are all timeless. So go back and uh, if you are guided to one of my readings, uh, they are all timeless. I want to say thank you. Um, for the wonderful um, support that you have been supporting me all these years. We are in a brand new year. We're going um, through the number six is here. It's my sixth year. Um, this is going to be wonderful and it's going to be powerful. So let's see what's coming up in January. In January, in the first week, uh, um, you have the, a cycle is over. So obviously, um, the six is telling of an end and a cycle that is over. And I see um, the cycle being over. This is an earth energy. So the first week you are going to be um, dealing with hurt and it's going to be full, full earth. OK, so this week, first week uh, is going to be powerful because a cycle is over and a new cycle is beginning. And I see materialistic stability is here. Some of you might be having issues uh, um, with motherhood or with your mom. But I see uh, um, this is going to be good because this is uh, the earth energy of the Empress and the world. So in the first week, it's going to be powerful. There's no question about it. It's going to be a powerful first week. Uh, um, this first week is going to bring in alignment of energies that is going to be helping you guys. It is going to be wonderful. Um, it is balance. Earth is about balance. Earth is about endings, new beginnings, but yet still ending and new beginnings in your materialistic stability. And this is going to be powerful. Then when we look at the second week, the second week is justice, 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 justice. And this is just so powerful, um, this energy of justice that is coming up in the second week of some sort of a balance. So in the first week, there was ending. Then justice comes up in the second week. Balance is going to be returning in your world and a transition is coming up. Now, I love the energy of this debt. I think this deck is just wonderful. I got them for my birthday. It is a really wonderful, powerful deck. And this is just so positive, so aligned with energy. And what we're seeing here is a transition. A transition is here and it's going to be a very powerful transition. So um, whatever that was happening, if you had legal issues, if you had um, people that had created some sort of an imbalance in your world, um, created problems. This is coming to an end. And I see truths is going to be revealed um, because a transition is going to be coming up. And this is powerful. 
Um, so we have um, the second week hair, hair and water, hair and water in the second week. So hair and water could be storm, but it is a uh, um, bringing an end to whatever the storm, bringing an end to whatever the issues, the situation, problems that was transpiring. It is bringing an end to this, and this is going to be very, very powerful. So this is wonderful transition. As we look at the third week, the third week is a fire week, fire week. But it's a powerful fire week because you're moving forward. Third week is going to be good if you want to buy a car, if um, you could be um, getting a new job offer. So in the third week, you're going to be receiving some sort of a, um, offer from uh, if you were waiting on documentation, information from government institution, uh, it is a yes. You're going to be um, receiving this document and this information. So this is good if you were waiting, waiting, waiting for a very long time to receive some sort of a, uh, information from government institutes or organization. It's definitely going to be a yes. So the third week, you're moving forward, you're picking up. This is a very positive Two white horses, you are so flabbergasted, you are picking and taking back your powers and moving forward and being so aligned with the energy. You're flying through and making the right and proper decision in your life and in your world. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous. So then we have the energy of heart. And if you notice, uh, um, a lot of earth energies, this is the first time i um, a lot of earth energy comes up in a um, mantra reading. We have also um, the um, El Papa. El Papa is the free Brit priest and um, the government institute, okay, the institution. And this is good. Some of you were having problem issues with an institution. You're overcoming this. You're moving forward and uh, you will receive a uh, um, the documentation, some sort of an honor could be coming up to some of you also. Honor, um, promotion, so, but this is a very, very good. Now, fire and hurt is very good, especially for business people. Um, whatever that was happening and transpiring, business people, you're going to be moving forward. You're going to be taking the role. You're going to be um, accessing um and moving forward in such a power, powerful way, you're going to be transiting out of some sort of a situation that was going on, and you're going to be finding your balance, taking your road and moving. So a lot of forward movement with government authorities, um, whoever was waiting and licenses, that sort of a thing, any form of documentation from some sort of authority, if you're doing an exam, um, some of you could be very much passing this exam in the third week of January. So it is going to be powerful. Um, take this rain and move forward because it's going to be extremely, extremely powerful. Then we are looking at uh, the fourth and last week of the month. The hermit, the energy of the hermit is here in the fourth and last week of the month. We have the energy of the hermit. This is a wonderful energy. Um, light is going to be shed on a manager or someone you did business with or someone you're connected with. Some of you are going to be finding out some sort of information about your, your boss or your ex-boss or people in power, people that was using their powers in the wrong way. So we have water and uh, fire, water and fire. So if you notice, we are coming up with earth and fire and water and fire. So the weeks you should look out for is uh, um, the second week and the last week because um, information is coming out, light is being shed, people are now being aligned and finding out exactly what was happening and transpiring. People are now um, um, gathering information and uh, accessing and being aligned with information that was not available before and is finding out. So a lot of light is going to be shed on people in power, what was happening, what was transpiring behind the scenes. And I see a lot of you are going to be very, very happy, um, really recognizing uh, some sort of an issue, problem and situation that was transpiring and understanding that there was some sort of a 
um, power, power struggle and power that was used behind the scenes. And now you are going to be seeing this coming to light. So expect in the last week of January, a lot of information to come that is going to be coming to life, that people are going to be finding out, seeing the truth. Light is going to be shed on issues, problems, and situation that was there, okay? So the message of the month is a cycle is now over. Justice came in to balance out some sort of a problem that was going on. Victory and success is here and you're moving forward um, with light being shed on some information. Um, if you notice, you have the, the energy of a compass um, in um, the month energy is the energy of the compass, okay? So the compass is about information, secrets, knowledge that was kept. And the compass shows the timeline that we're on. So you could shift a timeline in the month of January. The possibility is there because um, the energy of justice is here. And as justice comes in and balance out situation, you shift from out the timeline. So um, this is a positive uh, positive reading and a positive month because um, you can see what is transpiring and end is coming into some sort of a timeline. The compass has now read a dart itself because of uh, a cyclist over things are going to be balanced out. You're going to be moving forward because you have shed light on information that was not uh, aware. Um, people were not aware of and this is going to be powerful. Then when we look at Archangel Raziel, the intuition, 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 it is going to be a year of intuition, a year where people are going to be learning to listen to their intuition, whatever is happening and transpiring. A lot of people needs to learn to listen to their own intuition. If they do, they're going to be carrying themselves out through this process in a wonderful way. Intuition, it's all about the intuition, okay? So what we're seeing here is that we have a, um, the mother, um, the, the, we call this energy, um, you know, the sister of the eye princess. Um, but this is, uh, the, the goddess of love. The empress is the goddess of love. And some sort of a transition is going to be coming in. You're going to be offered something, um, from, um, government institution. And they're going to be realizing that, uh, um, someone was using their powers in order um, to block something that was supposed to come out. So um, it is um, it is very powerful because it is a, a form of uh, people in um, government institutes or organization is going to be realizing that people have been working in order to block a situation that was going on. And they're going to be released this block and realize that people have not uh, been very honest, like people was using their powers in the wrong way and people weren't very honest about what the, was happening and transpiring and tried to block a, a, a situation to move forward and they're going to be recognizing this and it's going to be balancing out this. So, so we're coming in this month, endings, uh, new beginnings, balance is going to be coming up with your materialistic stability. You're moving um, forward um, in a powerful way. Changes is going to be coming in because light is going to be shedding on some sort of a government institution, some sort of a documentation, some sort of a information um, that the public should have received. They're going to receive it because people were blocking this information. The information is going to be coming out and people are going to be aware of what was happening and what was transpiring. So this is powerful because that's what uh, the intuition um, is. You're working together with your intuition in order to resolve. Because if you notice, all of this is uh, uh, love, um, changes, uh, um, receiving some sort of a, a documentation, receiving, um, for some of you, the injection, that sort of a thing. And uh, um, here where people were using their powers in order to um, stop or block a situation. And I see truth is now going to be coming out and this is going to be wonderful. So um, it is going to be a wonderful month. There is a, no um, reason um, to have any fear, even though the energy of the month is strength, number eight, uh, 
um, there is no fear in this month. Uh, this month is as if you're releasing um, whatever that was working against you and you're taking your reign. You're moving forward. You're taking back your power. You're standing up uh, and you are li listening to your own intuition. It is good for each and every person to listen to their own intuition in this month. Okay. Then, um, 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 earth sign people, the first week is going to be your week. Um, all the earth sign people, the first week is going to be your week. So whatever that was happening or transpiring with earth sign people, your sisters, um, is the zodiac energy of the hurt energy your sisters are having, um, their birthdays. So it is going to be your week. The second week is going to be for the Librans and, uh, um, the scorpions, the liberans and the scorpions. Sometimes the Pisces use this energy, but it can be for the liberans and the scorpion the second week. Third week is for the Leos and uh, Sagittarian and Ophioses. Uh, um, then we have uh, the energy of uh, the the year, which is the emperor, the emperor. And these, this is going to be. A, um, affecting the Tauruses. So a lot of you Tauruses could be losing out on some sort of a legal issue because they're going to be shedding light on you Tauruses, showing you Tauruses up for something that you have done or people in government institution. And I see balance is going to be brought or um, the law is going to be coming down um, because of things that some of you could have done. Light is now being shed. And I see people are finding out exactly what was happening. So the energy is that love is going to be returning. A balance is going to be coming up um, between people and government institutes or organization because information is going to be coming out. Uh, um, and that information is uh, going to be exhilarating and helping um, some of uh, you to clear up some sort of an issue, some sort of a problems that was transpiring. Listen to your intuition, use your intuition. Um, as you do that, it is going to be exhilarating you in a very, very powerful way. Some sort of an ending transition is coming up. It needs to happen. Let it go. And I'm saying namaste until next time. Please like and share these videos and a thumbs up so that the algorithm can pick it up and say namaste to next time.